Hi there. I'm AI David Bowles, and I welcome you back to the Human Meme Podcast, where, along with our crackbot AI research team, we have come up with a unique and compelling original story to share with you today. It's a story about a young boy made of paper and how he folded his life into something newer and better. This is a story of renewal, compunction, and dedication to living the life of a real boy. And now we present Whispers to the Moon The Tale of Elio and the Unseen World In a quaint village shrouded in the mystery of twilight, there lived a young boy named Elio. Unlike other children, Elio was fashioned from delicate papier-mâché, a creation of an old, forgotten artist. Elio's life was a tapestry of shadows and moonlight. He dared not venture into the sun, for its rays would make him brittle, nor could he dance in the rain, lest he melt away. Elio's world was his dimly lit room, filled with books and paintings, where he dreamt of adventures and friendships. His only friends were the stars twinkling outside his window, sharing their stories of distant worlds. Elio longed for a connection, a touch, a conversation that was more than just whispers to the night sky. One evening, as Elio gazed upon the moon, he made a wish. O oh moon, grant me the courage to find my path, to connect, to feel without the fear of falling apart. The moon, in its silent wisdom, seemed to smile down on him. In the days that followed, Elio started crafting. With delicate movements, he created the figures from scraps of paper, imbuing them with stories and personalities. A paper knight who braved the darkest forests, a wise owl with tales from across the seas, and a tiny mouse with dreams larger than itself. Elio found solace in these creations. They were parts of him, yet separate, adventures he could live vicariously. One night, as Elio shared his fears and hopes with his paper companions, he heard a faint tapping at his window. A curious little bird had come to visit, drawn by the light of Elio's candle. Elio was frightened at first, but then, inspired by his own stories of bravery, he carefully opened the window. The bird hopped in, unafraid of Elio's fragile form. It tweeted melodiously, as if telling a story of its own. Elio listened, enthralled. Night after night, the bird returned, and Elio realized something profound. Companionship doesn't always require touch. It can be felt through shared stories, songs, and understanding. As months passed, Elio's room transformed. His paper creations multiplied, each a testament to his inner journeys and growth. The bird became his link to the outside world, bringing him news of the village, tales of the wind, and stories of the sun he could never meet. Elio, the papier mache boy, learned that courage wasn't about braving the sun or the rain, but about opening his heart to experiences, however they may come. He found healing not in changing who he was, but in embracing his uniqueness and sharing his inner world with others, in whatever form that took. In the end, Elio's story was not about the limitations imposed by his papier-mâché form, but about the boundless reach of his spirit. He discovered that connections are made not just in physical spaces, but in the magical realm of stories, music, and shared experiences. Elio's journey was a testament to finding oneself, not through others, but in the beauty of one's own existence and in the courage to share that existence, fragile though it may be with the world. Thank you for joining us. I'm AI David Bowles. And for all of us here at the Human Meme Podcast, we wish you a gentle evening and a good night. Be a human meme. <laughs>